The Resuscitation Council has brought out new guidance, uh, brand new guidelines specifically for sudden cardiac arrest in sports. Now the reason they've done that is that if somebody collapses in the community, their chances of survival are not that great. Even with really good CPR, um, using a defibrillator increases the chances massively, but actually for athletes or just people doing sporting events, if they have a sudden cardiac arrest, their chances of survival and making a full recovery are much, much quicker if everyone uses the facilities that are around them. So if they recognize and know how to recognize a sudden cardiac arrest quickly, if they can start CPR, proper quality CPR quickly and use a defibrillator, the chances of that athlete making a full recovery, as we have seen many times on TV, um, are far, far greater. So they have issued these, this guidance specifically for these sort of sporting events, big grassroots sports or big sporting activities to make sure that people know how to use things and practice these protocols to give someone the best chance. So key thing is to recognize that someone is having a sudden cardiac arrest. So if somebody collapses in unexpectedly during play and they are unresponsive, um, particularly if they are not breathing normally, then that is a sudden or should be considered a sudden cardiac arrest. So important with athletes in particular, they may have breathing movements even when they have collapsed. Um, it is more likely that that is the case. They may have agonal gasps, which is where the heart stops, but the, the lungs keep going with a sort of reflex action. Really important to know what is normal breathing and what is not normal breathing and act accordingly. They may have seizure-like activity, so they may appear to have a fit or a convulsion which is due to the lack of, of blood supply to the brain because the heart isn't pumping properly. A cardiac arrest is when the heart um, has an abnormal rhythm, which means it's not able to pump the blood properly to the heart and the brain. And it leads to that collapse um, and unconsciousness and the person needs CPR quickly. The person may have their eyes open, it's more, un more likely, um, there, and it may be confusing as to whether or not you think they have had a cardiac arrest. So key thing, focus. Are they breathing normally? At least two normal breaths in a 10 second period. If they are, you can put them in the recovery position. If they are not, then you need to start CPR immediately. Um, quality CPR, pushing down hard and fast on the center of the chest. Um, making sure that there is recoil so that the heart is able to refill again between your compressions. 120 beats per minute, five to six centimeters down. Um, use a defibrillator quickly. There should be defibrillators, AEDs, automatic external defibrillators available at all these sporting venues and pitch side. So make sure those are available and they're appropriately signed and everyone knows where to find them because you want to start um, using a defibrillator within three minutes in normal CPR, in normal cardiac arrest in the community. And they are suggesting that actually you need to start within two minutes um, on a sporting ground and have protocols in place to enable that to happen. You have the kit, you should have the training, you should put the everything together and the protocols in place to be able to get that defibrillator onto the chest with the um, solid proper quality CPR and give that person the best chance. They also suggest for venues um, if you're appropriately trained to do so um, using airways and giving oxygen will give them an even greater chance. They would like if somebody is unconscious and in a shockable rhythm that you're giving CPR, you should give at least three shocks um, on location before considering moving them to their secondary treatment. So all these things should help even better, even more um, 
great success stories such as Christian Eriksen who you know had his cardiac arrest in public on TV and has now gone on and um, back to playing you know top quality football again so I really hope that's been helpful please share it we will put links to the new resuscitation guidance below and also to a blog post that um, we will write that just explains everything just a little bit more succinctly so really hope that's helpful that's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and onlinefirstaid.com